What's going on guys? We are out at uh, Osceola, Wisconsin today doing uh, some conservation work in the cemetery. Um, this is a, a little bit of a late intro to this video, um, but uh, today's project is lifting a, a statue that had been vandalized over 20 years ago. So we are in the process of it right now. Uh, we are going to be lifting this stone up. Um, it had broken in two pieces, broken apart with the pedestal and the upper part. The upper part was the part that was laying down in the dirt for a long, long time. We'll get that lifted up and then you'll see that in the video here. But um, that's what's going on out in Osceola, Wisconsin, getting a marble statue reset onto its base. Yep, I already started with the video on. Just trying to think, I could haul this out. If I put two legs here and one here, I could probably bring this back. The stone you're seeing here is the Seaman family marker with Father William, Mother Matilda, and son Edward buried here. William Henry Seaman was a farmer in Osceola. He had a unique round barn. It was a landmark to many people in that area until about the 1980s. He was born in Minnesota and married Matilda Augusta Kelm who had come from Germany at the age of nine. He got dirty already. The couple had originally farmed in southern Minnesota, uh, but they moved to Wisconsin sometime after 1910. Sadly, their lives were rocked in early 1918 when their only son, Eddie, was killed in a train accident. Eddie Seaman and friend Frank Nagler were both killed three weeks prior to their high school graduation. The two boys had gone out in the Nagler car to check out a cr car crash at a rail crossing near town that happened a few days earlier. When they were coming back to town, the boys missed seeing an extra freight train that was coming from the east. They were unable to move their car in time and the boys jumped out, ran, but the train struck the car and pushed the car into the boys. Frank was killed instantly, had a broken rib piercing his heart. Eddie, on the other hand, was thrown several feet and hurt badly. He was treated in town and then rushed to the Twin Cities in Minnesota by way of yet another train, but passed away soon after arriving. The Siemens were devout Lutherans, originally belonging to Zion Lutheran in Farmington, Minnesota. But in 1913, Mrs. Seaman, she was one of the charter members of a ladies aid group that predated Trinity Lutheran Church. That congregation was originally formed in 1920. The Siemens loaned money to buy the first parsonage and the ladies' aid purchased the first church building. As time went on, the couple gave many other generous donations of their time, talent, and treasures. In 1937, Matilda died, followed by William in 1943. The bottom, I gotta elongate the bottom inside because it's, it's canting in the hole, so I gotta probably use the smaller bit and just work at it for a minute. Yeah, so I used an epoxy putty in the hole. I'm gonna, when we lift that up, I'm gonna put some on the back side of that. This is a really amazingly strong, uh, it's more like, a, it's a knife grade, and it, it's super clear, so it doesn't yellow. You tend to get a yellow line. Then I'm gonna come back with some more of this around the edge after, to strengthen it more, fill the gap. There's a lot of erosion, especially on the back side of that piece, and this piece, because it was never in the dirt, didn't erode. But marble in the ground tends to erode, and that definitely did. And you can't, luckily it's on the back, so luckily they laid it down and put it on a tarp the way they did, and also laid it, you know, so it, most of the damage is where you're not never gonna see it. So this is a two to one ratio, one part of the, basically the hardener. And they just like rolled it over, yes. and it was basically above ground. It slowly sank. Yeah, you know because it's soft ground, and it's been you know a couple decades. But when it first fell, it would have just toppled and been you know some odd angle. And so then they figured, oh, you know maybe we'll fix this in a month or a year. And they put it over to the side, and then it just sat there and sunk. Okay, 
so much strength. What's the uh, putty that you're putting in there? This is the epoxy putty oh, okay. we've been using. Yep. The, the original the white, yep. off-white. Yep. Yeah. 